This is Love Lara 2, and I am going to answer the question posed by Shock of God, stating, Can you show proof and evidence that atheism is accurate and correct? <clears throat> I must say that I first heard this question posed uh, on Proportional Responses video, where he stated a question, he said, I will answer that if you can answer this. And he stated a question from my cousin Vinny, that really funny courtroom scene, that was a trick question. So I'm thinking, is this a trick question? So I thought about it and I thought about it. And here's the answer. And I can understand now why, it, uh, why it's a trick question. <clears throat> you see, if God created everything, which I believe God did, as I'm sure Shock of God believes as well, then God also created atheists and atheism. Now, based on that, that is proof and evidence that atheism is accurate and correct. Not only is it accurate and correct because it is a creation of God, it is also perfect. So why can't atheists answer this question? You might say, well, that would mean they'd have to acknowledge God, but that's, that's not necessarily true. So <clears throat> I'm going to pose this analogy to shock of God. I want you to imagine yourself standing on a beach and you're right at the edge of the ocean feeling the waves over your feet, feeling the current of the waves ebbing and flowing. And I want you to imagine the atheists in the ocean, deep, deep under the water. Imagine asking them to prove, to prove to you, to show evidence that the current is accurate and correct. Proof and evidence that the waves are accurate and correct. You see, from where they stand, there is no ocean. And the current that they feel is different than the current that you feel. They don't see things from where you're standing. They see things from where they're standing. They see the wonders underneath the ocean, whereas you see the wonders above the ocean. Do you see what I'm saying? As you can probably figure out, I'm, I'm not an atheist. Uh, I believe that denying God is like denying the obvious. But I'm also not a Christian, um, because I believe that denying the dinosaurs is also denying the obvious. I try to, uh, I try to see God in everything and everyone. And yes, I see God in the atheists that I watch on YouTube. I don't expect any, anything from them as far as changing their beliefs. I believe they were put on this earth to fulfill a purpose, being who they are, feeling how they feel, and thinking how they think. As with you, Shock of God. <clears throat> you see, I understand that you used to be atheist. and. Based on that, I would also expect, well, I shouldn't expect, but I would feel that perhaps on that level, you might have more uh, compassion for them rather than uh, condescension or, or, or belittling someone's beliefs regardless of, of their religion or lack of religion. Christianity is right for you, but it's not right for everybody. I mean... If, if the sun only shone one ray of light, we would all be in virtual darkness, right? The sun has many different rays of light that emanates light all over the galaxy, all over the world. We are all rays of light, and we all shine our light in a different way. So, 
I guess that's what I have to say. Let me, I took some notes so I could figure out. I think I pretty much covered everything. So I, uh, that answers your question. If, if God created everything, then God also created atheism. And that there is evidence and proof that atheism is accurate and correct and perfect. And you can't deny that answer. Otherwise, you would be denying God and you would be atheist. And it just goes and goes and goes. All right? So there's your answer. Peace.